Hi, my name is John Hammack. Uh, I'm a professor of psychological science at the University of Vermont. I'm also associate director of the undergraduate neuroscience program, and I'm excited to share with you a few things about that program right now. So uh, the neuroscience program at the University of Vermont was created around 2010 and 2011 as a collaboration between multiple departments on campus, um, and particularly the Department of Psychological Science and the Department of Biology in the College of Arts and Sciences. And um, when it was created as a collaboration, we realized that neuroscience, you know, is a very interdisciplinary uh, subject. It allows um, for us to explore a topic, for us, the nervous system, uh, across many uh, fields of scientific analysis. And so UVM neuroscience in particular is interdisciplinary and was designed not to be biased towards any of the sides of neuroscience. So it's not biased towards psychology, it's not biased towards the cell and molecular biology side of neuroscience. Students who are neuroscience majors or minors will have some experience at all of these different levels, and we think that is a strength of this program. Um, we have a, a Bachelor of Science degree that we're currently offering in neuroscience, and we also offer a minor in neuroscience. We created the minor such that you could uh, be a major in really anything in the College of Arts and Sciences, um, including psychology and biology. Now, if you minor in neuroscience and you're a psych major, um, then you will have to take uh, some of those uh, neuroscience courses that are more biologically oriented. If you're a biology major, you'll have to take some of those that are more psych oriented. Um, but it allows you to have, again, a broad uh, experience with the multiple disciplines or subdisciplines of neuroscience. So uh, this philosophy is really seen throughout our curriculum. Now, um, our curriculum is designed, it starts uh, in the same way that a lot of life, life sciences are. So students who come in in the first year take a lot of the foundational life sciences that you need. Um, but then we have sort of fundamental neuroscience courses, advanced neuroscience courses. And through all these different levels, we will ask students to be taking courses. Again, some of these will be in the cognitive behavioral courses that are offered in places like the Department of Psychological Science. Some of them will be courses in cell molecular biology that will be offered in biology. But actually what is really unique also about neuroscience at UVM is it involves other departments all over campuses and in other colleges. So for example, um, we have many courses that are being offered by uh, in the College of Medicine, uh, in pharmacology, in neurological sciences, in psychiatry. We also have courses that are being offered by the College of Nursing and Health Sciences and Communication Sciences and Disorders. And this allows us to have really in interesting courses that other places might not have if you didn't have a medical school. So for example, we have a course called Human Neuroanatomy that fulfills a, a major requirement for neuroscience uh, students. And this is actually a human brain dissection course that our students love that exists because we have uh, a collaboration uh, with the College of Medicine. We also require a, a research experience, and while there are a few courses that co cover that um, requirement, most students do um, do their research by working in laboratories uh, all across campuses. And you see this, these were our senior award winners uh, from last year. You can see that the places where these students were doing research, again, were, was all across the university. So we have students in the College of Arts and Sciences working in psychological science. We have students who are working in College of Nursing and Health Sciences and Communication Sciences and Disorders. Both of these students worked in Neurological Sciences and in College of Medicine, but we also have students doing research in Pharmacology, Psychiatry, and actually students even in um, sciences that aren't uh, specifically related to neuroscience who are doing research experiences there. In addition, we also, of course, have many students working in our biology department, um, and so all of these students who have gone on to um, be very competitive and gone on to graduate school or medical school. Um, these particular students uh, did all their work in the Department of Biology. And so many of our students actually do um, aspire to go to graduate school and medical school. And I can say that we make very competitive students. They, the students who do well in our curriculum uh, are very competitive and get into uh, many of the schools that they want to get into. Um, but it should be noted that neuroscience uh, background in neuroscience can prepare you for a lot of different kinds of fields. And so we actually end up with students doing a lot of different kinds of things. Um, and again, all of these kinds of career paths are career paths by which having a background across many levels of science, really understanding man many levels of science, allows you um, to do many different kinds of things. Uh, and so uh, lastly, I just wanted to mention that we have a really great neuroscience community. 
at, uh, at the University of Vermont. And there are many uh, sort of opportunities for students to get involved in neuroscience outside of the classroom. Again, because we have a college of medicine and we have a hospital, there are lots of opportunities for people who are interested in health related uh, fields for getting experience in those fields. We have a, a neuroscience club, we have an honor society that's a neuroscience honor society. Many times these students are involved um, in helping high school students navigate the Vermont Brain Bee. And we have a much larger research community that um, collaborates a lot and gets along really well. So it's a really wonderful place to do neuroscience. So with that, um, uh, you can always feel free to contact us. Uh, uh, the neuroscience program is listed on the UVM website and we'd be happy to answer any questions.